Hi, this is Gabby from Ray Studios and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tingy H9. First, let's get it out of the box. Besides the ball, charger and the remote, there are a few complementary accessories that you won't normally get with other bolts. Tail light, headlights, T-tool and silicone guards that are especially designed for the H9. I'm surprised with how small is the charger. Here it is compared with some of the other bolts. Being so small also means that you can carry it with you everywhere you go and charge your board on the go. When it comes to design, this board is like nothing I've seen before. While the majority of electric skateboards are mostly black, this is pretty colorful and it kind of looks like a surfboard. The batteries are all hidden inside, what makes this design look very slim and it's also very decently light at just under 7 kilos. It is a stiff board with a 10 ply Canadian Mipole and 1 ply fiberglass. There is no flex, but the shock pad grip tape should cushion the ride on an even pavement. The reverse mounted bridge makes it closer to the ground, and the lower center of gravity should make it more stable, especially at high speed. The Team GH9 is IP54, which means it has some level of water resistance and dust resistance. The remote is what they call a seahorse design, and I guess it kind of looks like a seahorse. To be honest, I'm really digging this design. It might be one of the best remotes in electric cable. There is an LCD screen with battery indicator for both the board and the remote, an odometer, speedometer, gear, brake intensity, and direction. You could adjust the gear by pressing this button and by holding down the brake, you could also adjust the brake intensity. This feature is pretty cool. And there is also a dedicated directional switch on the side. Now it's time for me to go out and take the H9 for a ride. The max payload of this board is 100 kilograms. I'm 93, so I'm right at the limit. Let's hope that doesn't affect performance all that much. Overall, the riding experience is pretty smooth, especially for a stiff ball. Acceleration and braking is nice and smooth. I have set the braking level to 3. That's what I feel is the most comfortable. Keep in mind, I'm a pretty heavy rider and you might want to set it up at a lower level. The 90mm wheels feel nice and grippy and these tracks are pretty good for carving. Team G claims 16 km of range. In my test, I got about 15 km, so pretty close. When it comes to the top speed, in the website they claim 40 km per hour or 25 miles per hour. I got a top speed of 37 km per hour. I'm sure a lighter rider could probably manage to go up to 40 km per hour, no problems. So in conclusion, the Tinchi H9, it is a really cool looking electric cable. It is a bit lighter than most of the competition, and at $300, it is great value. It definitely feels like a more expensive electric cable. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the section down below what you think about the Team GH9 and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. This is Gabby from Rage Studios, till next time.